Reverend Insanity. Chapter 391 Demonic Path Alliance Army Seconds passed like days, eventually, the cloud gradually settled down in the air. Fang Yuan finally had the break he needed to curse the original owner of this blessed land. Such an important point was not mentioned at all in the recipe, all because of him concentrating hard and reacting in time, together with the help of Fang Tian Yu. He was able to calm and stabilize the situation, slowly getting back his control, otherwise he would have failed. As time passed, a mystical aura slowly spread. The cloud completely digested the 300-year lifespan goo, calming down and turning back to the scene of blood field red wheat. But at this moment, the red wheat had turned blue-green, as if new crops were growing in spring, almost overcrowding. This was what the recipe described as 300 years as spring. That mysterious goo immortal must have only developed the recipe, but did not actually do it himself otherwise, he would have mentioned it. Fang Yuan caught a break and thought hard. Next, I have to use the 500-year lifespan goo, but no need to rush. He wiped the sweat off his forehead, calling the land spirit, Ba Gui, show me the image of the poison land. Immediately, smoke images appeared in the air, showing a picture. Long King Tian's corpse laid on the ground as his surrounding sky and land were dyed a deep green color. This was Long King Tian's jade sky goo poison. This goo originated from the immemorial era, it had a strong poison that Fang Yuan would not dare to touch. At this moment, two goo masters appeared in the image, they had rank 3 cultivation. This place is weird, why is it so green? Quickly see that corpse it's Long King Tian. They entered this place and found Long King Tian's corpse by accident. Long King Tian is rank 4 peak stage, a famous demonic head, he was actually killed. Quickly go see, his corpse might have something good. The two were happily running towards Long King Tian's corpse, driven by greed, they did not realize their bodies were infected by this green light. Courting death. Fang Yuan sneered as expected, in less than ten steps, their poison reacted, and the two of them turned into green light, dissipating. The Jade Sky Goo Poison has gotten very deep, this region is almost finished, it has completely rotted, the loophole it forms will be even greater than the one Xiao Mang created. Time was precious, every second was important, but Fang Yuan did not move regardless of how anxious he felt. After five minutes, with a boom, the blessed land shook and the hall vibrated. The second loophole tunnel was created. The land spirit sighed, this way, the blessed land's speed of destruction doubled. Continue refining goo. Fang Yuan took out the 500-year lifespan goo and threw it into the cloud. The cloud rumbled again, trying to break free of Fang Yuan's control. But Fang Yuan was mentally prepared, he was not caught unaware like last time, and restrained it completely. But quickly, he felt that there was nothing he could do. The cloud's change this time was not only giving off a slippery feeling, but also an arrogant brute force, like a green snake that had evolved into a flood dragon, about to break free from Fang Yuan's control. Feng Tian Yu quickly came to help, the two worked hard to suppress the cloud's transformation. The cloud rumbled many times, about to break free at times, but was eventually suppressed. Five minutes later, the cloud became clear again, showing a blood field with golden wheat ready for a bountiful harvest. It was the 500 years as autumn scene. Thankfully, he only refined this goo after the poison broke out, if not, when the second loophole formed and the hall shook, this goo refinement would have been interrupted and would not have succeeded. Fang Yuan waited a while more, as the cloud slowly dispersed after maturing. From the water tank size, it shrunk into a new goo, falling down. Fang Yuan held it, it was like a peanut shell, golden and having markings on the surface, that is, scarlet blood traces. The first false second aperture goo could only survive for a week, it was unstable. As for this goo, it could survive for 40 years. At this step, the real second aperture goo had already formed and was nurturing in the peanut shell. But if it was allowed to develop on its own, not just a thousand years, but even if given then thousand years, it might not turn into the real product. 
only by using a strong external force to eliminate the false and make it real, turning from phantom to solid, can it attain a qualitative change, breaking free from mortality and become an immortal. And this external force is none other than the rank 6 divine travel goo. Next, we have to use an immortal goo to refine an immortal goo. Fang Yuan took deep breaths, regulating his internal flow as he started the most important step of this entire refinement process. At this time, in the outside world, sounds of killing was overwhelming the mountain. This dog is mine. As long as you hand over your goo worms, I will spare you your life. Kill all these Eggmen, these variant humans are actually occupying one spirit spring, what a waste of resources. All sorts of plundering and robbing were happening. As goo masters killed till their eyes turned red, casualties increased greatly. Strange, why have we not seen Lord Tai Mu Bai after so long? Where did our Wu Clan Wu Shen Tong go? Tai Clan and Wu Clan Goo Masters felt something amiss. Search, quickly go search. The Heavenly Power's restriction is very small now. We can use most of our goo worms. The situation is a mess now. There is killing everywhere, as blood flow into a river. We need to find our clan's experts to suppress the situation. Are there any places left unsearched? The deepest part of this blessed land, there is a thick fog. Just as these people placed their sights on the bronze hall, Mo Wu Qian had walked to the edge of the fog alone. There is the aura of a immortal goo. His purple eyes was deep and mysterious, with arrogance and wildness hidden within. Using the purple eyes, the fog dissipated at times, as an endless number of dogs appeared in Mo Wu Tian's vision. He frowned. There was strong defenses, just him alone cannot penetrate this defensive line. He needed external help. His brows eased as Mo Wu Tian turned around. He moved like lightning, tearing through the sky, moving a hundred miles as he landed before Hu Mei Er. Hu Mei Er was first scared till she turned pale after recognizing Mo Wu Tian, she smiled. Young Master Wu Tian, you came too. This Three Kings inheritance has little meat but many wolves, you might get disappointed. A, you have advanced to rank five. Hu Mei Er looked at this man, unable to hide her shock. She gulped, trying to alleviate this shock as she forced out a smile. That's great, you have rank 5 strength. You have the ability to gain great rewards from this situation. These green eggmen have huge numbers, they have built structures and castles, I cannot break through. There is a green egg empress inside, as long as we capture her, we will be able to have endless fortune. Hehe. <laughs> Mo Wu Chan looked at the castle, laughing lightly. Back then, King Bao Wang Badan had eight egg empresses and produced numerous eggmen. King Xin Wang Xiaoya's inheritance has divulged information Gu and undefeated hundred battles Gu. King Quan Wang Er Gu had two dog emperors, Ying Ming and Ba Huang. This is the essence of the three king's inheritance, but none of them interests me. Hu Mei Er's smile froze. To think that young master Wu Tian knows the Three Kings' inheritance so clearly. Since you have no interest in it, why don't you let me have it? As expected of a woman, you are too short-sighted. Mo Wu Tian laughed loudly, staring at Hu Mei Er's eyes. Let me tell you, the land spirit of this blessed land is not dead. In the deepest area, a deceased Gu immortal's treasure awaits. What? Hu Mei Er was stunned. But there is a thick fog there, and over a hundred thousand dogs guard it. To go to the central control hall, it is not enough with just the two of us. Mo Wu Tian laughed deeply. Hu Mei Er was a smart woman, she immediately understood Mo Wu Tian's intentions. Her eyes shone as she laughed curtly. Hehe, <laughs> isn't it easy to recruit people? Hu Mei Er was a decisive person, she abandoned the Green Egg Empress, recruiting daimonic Gu masters alone with Mo Wu Tian. With her network and Mo Wu Chan's cultivation and reputation, a large group of demonic Gu masters soon gathered. Adding in the details of the Gu Immortal's treasure, the daimonic merchant Lai Zion, Fiery Star Bao Tong, Rock Lizard Lai Qiang and others all gathered. Mo Wu Chen returned to the fog, no longer alone, 
but with a demonic army amounting to thousands of people. They are finally here, Bai Ningbing sitting on the hill stood up slowly. The fog could obscure people's vision, but because of the land spirit's help, Bai Ningbing had a clear vision and could see the demonic alliance army. Mo Wu Chan observed for a while before saying, Lai Kang, bring 300 people and attack head on. After a few dozen steps, you will face the steel armor dogs. Fight as you retreat, move towards the left and engage with the chrysanthemum Akita dogs. Defeat them and you will charge towards the southeast direction. Who may err, bring 500 people and go left. As you fighting your way through, you will encounter lightning symbol dogs, hedge dogs and corpse dogs. Do not mind the losses, just charge towards the north. Bao Tong, go on the right path, bring 800 people. Towards the southwest direction, make a din and shout as you charge, no dogs will obstruct you for 500 steps. After you encounter the lightning symbol dogs, fighting and charge with all you've got, if you cannot break through in 45 minutes, retreat back here. Lai Zion, bring 400 people as backup, prepare for mobilization anytime, if I give no commands, take care of the returning troops. Then what about you Mo Wu Tian? Lai Zion's eyes shone with deep meaning as he asked. I will obviously stand guard at the base, why, you have a problem. Mo Wu Tian looked at Lai Zion lightly with his expression purple eyes. Lai Zion felt a chill in his spine. When did this Mo Wu Tian become so scary? His cultivation surged and his killing intent is overflowing. It seems he received an amazing ancient inheritance, if not, how could he improve so much? I had thought that Little Beast King could fight with him, but now it seems that he is truly the demonic path's number one genius, he is simply too fearsome. Lai Zion's heart turned cold as he obeyed the command. With such an arrangement, four demonic experts brought their troops and charged towards the fog according to Mo Wu Qian's orders. Chapter 392 Demonic and Righteous Attacking Together It's Coming Bai Ningbing's gaze shone as her expression was nervous, quickly mobilizing the dog group. The still dog army started moving like a giant millstone. As for these Gu masters, they became the green bean and yellow beans. In a short amount of time, they were grinded to paste. More than half were dead, some saw the danger and retreated immediately. The demonic army suffered a huge loss, investing over a thousand men, but only a few hundred returned. Young Master Wu Qian, did you really see clearly? Lai Kang questioned. I charged in according to your instructions. We did encounter the steel armor dog on the first wave, and we retreated towards the left, but we met with the assault of both lightning symbol dogs and chrysanthemum Akita dogs. The numbers were too great, we can't deal with that. After a fruitless slaughter, we could only come back. Bao Tong's temper was even more irascible. I brought 800 people, but did not hear the shouting sounds from the northwest side. But towards the southeast side, I heard people fighting. I brought my troops there and met with the combined attack of the lightning symbol dogs, hedge dogs and corpse dogs. Humei Er's expression was also ugly. Young Master Wu Tian, I listened to you and prepared to attack. But 800 steps in, I did not see any dog groups. Just when I was confused, dog groups came encircling us. Luckily we managed to turn around and fight our way back, if not my life would have been lost there. Lai Zion was expressionless, standing at one side. His group was meant to protect the returning Gu masters and fight the approaching dog groups. Although there were lots of retreating troops, not a single dog came over, causing him to waste his time waiting. Mo Wu Tian's expression was solemn. After a while, he spoke, I can see the actual scenario much more clearly than all of you. There is someone manipulating these dogs. It is not a fixed formation, but an ever-changing one. That is why all of you failed. Everyone was shocked. There is someone controlling them? Who is it? Mo Wu Tian shook his head. The fog is too dense, I can only see a faint figure, I can't tell the identity of the other party. But there is definitely a mastermind, only a human's intelligence can react so perfectly. But no matter, I have some understanding of the enslavement path, from now you, you have to attack like this, 
to break through their encirclement and obtain the goo immortal treasure. Everyone's face had blood stains as they looked at each other, nodding reluctantly due to Mo Wu Tian's rank 5 strength as well as the allure of the immortal treasure. But this time, they still returned in defeat, suffering even greater losses than before. The person behind this has high attainment in enslavement path, I underestimated him. Mo Wu Chan frowned, he had thought of a perfect plan, using all four routes to cooperate, but the other party reacted quickly and found out his intentions. Purposely controlling his troops to intercept the four routes before they converged, such movements were at the level of a master. Mo Wu Tian, you have to give an explanation. We fight with our lives and lost so many people, but we have not even seen the shadow of the treasure. Are you standing here for fun? You are a rank 5 Gu Master, you should put in some effort too. Bao Tong was furious as he screamed while gripping his injury. Oh, you want an explanation? He he, then I'll give you a satisfactory answer. Mo Wu Qian laughed sinisterly as his purple eyes shone. You! Bao Tong was caught by surprise as he stared at Mo Wu Tian, unable to move. A moment later, he fell on the ground. Dead. The Gu Masters went into a commotion. Fiery Star Bao Tong, he was a famous rank 4 Fire Path Gu Master. Mo Wu Tian did not even attack, he killed him with a single stare. You want an explanation? I gave you an explanation, are you satisfied? If you are unhappy, you can tell me. Mo Wu Tian looked at his corpse as he waited for an answer. You're not speaking, it seems you are satisfied. Mo Wu Tian laughed, looking around. Haha, <laughs> Bao Tong is satisfied, what about you guys? Do you want an explanation from me too? It was complete silence all around. Mo Wu Tian killed people in the blink of an eye, Bao Tong was rank 4 upper stage, but he could not even take one hit, dying immediately. The demonic Gu masters were scared and shocked, regretting their greed. Why did they follow Mo Wu Tian? Now that they were roped in, they want to leave. HMPH, too late. Hu Mei Er and the others lowered their heads, not looking at Mo Wu Tian's eyes. Mo Wu Tian's killing technique caused fear in them. They had thought that he had just advanced to rank 5 and might not have true rank 5 prowess, but to think his fighting strength was on par with Wu Gui and the others. How old was he? Number one genius of the demonic path, without a doubt. After establishing his dominance, Mo Wu Tian laughed sinisterly again. Bao Tong's Gu are still around, you guys can split up among yourselves, treat it as a compensation from me. As he said so, the Gu Master's eyes glowed. Lai Zion was the first to react, with a swoosh, he moved like a rabbit, pouncing on Bao Tong's corpse and taking his Gu. Almost at the same time, Hu Mei Er and Lai Kang reacted and started their plunder as well. The others could only watch, not daring to contest. The three split Bao Tong's fortune among themselves, earning greatly as the grudge in them dissipated, turning into reverence for Mo Wu Tian. Mo Wu Tian could kill people with his gaze, that was not surprising, it was a sight-based killer move. This type of killer move directly competed souls against each other, the loser would have their souls scattered, not even given the chance to self-detonate their goo. Mo Wu Tian was a soul path Gu master, the strength of his soul was way above his peers, dealing with Bao Tong and the others was extremely easy. Cough, cough! Lai Zion coughed, saying, Since there are beast groups guarding, that area has to be where the central control hall is, the Gu immortal's fortune is most likely there, but how do we get in with all these dogs? He was wise like a ghost, as the person who obtained the most benefits out of Bao Tong's body, he immediately expressed his support towards Mo Wu Tian. Speaking of the Gu immortal treasure, Hu Mei Er and Lai Kang's attention were brought back to this. Mo Wu Tian looked at this group of people, they were all injured and exhausted, together with some lingering fear, the morale was at an all-time low. He sighed. Truly a motley crew. It seems I can only recruit more people to have the hopes of breaking in. Spread the news, regardless of righteous or demonic. Just say that Tai Mubai and the others have entered the hall and obtained King Quan inheritance, those Gu masters are blocking us outside the hall and are trying to hoard the treasure. 
this who may or hesitated. Mo Wu Tian laughed coldly. Time is running short. Once the blessed land collapses, we will have nothing left. Without more people, can we break through? Young master is right. Hu Mei Er quickly replied. Finally stopped. On the mountain slope, Bai Ningbing breathed out a sigh of relief, but lightly frowned. The methods Fang Yuan handed to her were already half used up. After a few more attacks, she would be at her wit's end. Ha ha ha! My tactic at finding a chance in the chaos succeeded. After blowing up this wall, I will get King Bao, Wang Ba Dan's inheritance. Xiao Mang laughed loudly. Right now, he was alone in a hidden cave. Before him, there was a tall and sturdy stone door. As long as it is blown apart, King Bao's final inheritance will be obtained. Bam! 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 Light shone as explosions went off. A moment later, Xiao Mang stopped his attacks while panting, staring at the stone door hatefully. The door was intact, there was no traces of any cracks. Light path focuses on speed and purification, the destructive power does not match fire path. King Bao evidently wants to find a fated person who can use fire type goo to break through, but I do not have such goo. Xiao Mang gritted his teeth, feeling indignant. At this moment, a Gu master came to report. Go out, who let you in? King Bao inheritance is mine alone. Eh? What did you say? Xiao Meng scolded, but suddenly heard his subordinate's report and grabbed his collar, lifting him up. You say there is a Gu immortal treasure hidden in the thick fog, and people are trying to take it down now. Yes, this information has circulated, countless goo masters are gathering, how would I dare to lie to you, second young master? The subordinate quickly replied. HMPH, don't call me second young master, I hate that title, Xiao Mang scolded, looking at this stone door reluctantly, as his gaze turned from hesitation to determination. Wang Badan was only a rank 5 goo master. Although he was called King Bao, he was only the same rank as Xiao Mang. How could his inheritance compare to a Gu immortal treasure? Go, let's go, Xiao Mang led his subordinates and moved quickly. The number of people is increasing. On the slope, Bai Ning Bing's frown deepened as there were almost 10,000 people gathered outside the fog. These people had differing cultivation levels, there were even rank 1 and 2s. But there were still Gu masters gathered together, they formed a tidal wave that could sweep everything in its path. Although she controlled a hundred thousand dogs, she was a soul person. Outside, countless gazes looked inside with a burning desire. They were all attracted by the immortal's treasure. As the people created a commotion, Mo Wu Tian smiled without speaking a word. His motive was achieved, birds die for food and humans die for fortune, this was human heart. Over at the righteous path, they are organizing people and charging into the fog. Hu Mei Er looked far away worried. Young Master Wu Chan, all the demonic Gu Masters are here already, are you going to stand up and direct them to form groups? We can't let the righteous path steal the treasure. No worries, no worries. There is such a thick fog, with steel armor dogs acting as steel walls, what can their vanguards do? Mo Wu Qian laughed coldly, refusing to act. Righteous path was superior to demonic path, they were more united and more easy to unite, while demonic path members were loners. Although he Mo Wu Qian had rank 5 cultivation, he was still young, and this was the first time he was leading, he could not subdue everyone. Old demonic experts like Kong Rai Tian and Lai Fei Li would not listen to him easily. Only when they realized that cooperating had benefits, could he use that chance to take over easily. But now, in the hall, the goo refinement had reached the crucial period. After half a day, the golden peanut shell collided with divine travel goo. Bam bam bam, Fang Yuan and Feng Wu Yu's vision turned black as thunder roared in their ears. Divine opportunity is unlimited, travel through the lands, activate ee. Fang Yuan screamed, using all his energy to activate Divine Travel Goo. Divine Travel Goo was an immortal goo. How could he, a mortal, activate it easily? But thankfully, the land spirit helped him secretly, 
As the immortal essence poured out, the divine travel goo turned into light speckles as it entered the golden peanut shell. The qualitative change had begun. Chapter 393, Group Attack Xiao Meng looked at the fog in front of him, his gaze deep and solemn. He relied on his rank 5 cultivation to gain the commanding position of the righteous path. He organized many assaults, but returned in great failure, suffering a huge loss. In the fog, countless dogs were hidden, causing every wave of goo masters that entered suffer great injuries. No matter how big the losses, it will not block my path. Immortal treasure, this is an immortal treasure, Xiao Meng's eyes shone with brilliance, shouting excitedly in his heart. Let's go again, organize the next wave of people. Xiao Meng instructed, but this time, little people joined in. The painful lesson was right in front of them, despite the great benefits, these righteous Gu masters started to hesitate, after all they only had one life. A bunch of cowards? Xiao Mang saw them hesitate and scolded in his heart. Time was running short for him, other than this immortal treasure, he also had King Bao inheritance to obtain. If we had an enslavement path Gu Master controlling beast groups, we could use them as cannon fodder, reducing our Gu Master casualties and regain our morale. Xiao Mang thought of this point. In such a situation, the importance of an enslavement path Gu Master was evident. Where is Wu Clan's Wu Shen Tong? With his help, we would be able to break through the fog and reach the central hall, Xiao Meng asked. But the answer he got was disappointing. Wu Shen Tong had gone missing, even Wu clansmen were trying to find him. Xiao Meng looked at the demonic faction, and his heart shook. Not only Wu Shen Tong, even the demonic paths Wu Gui and Zhang Sun Sen are not around. Is the Gu Master controlling the dogs in the fog one of these three people? Xiao Mang continued guessing as he looked towards the Grand Hall. However, the fog obstructed his vision, causing him to feel even more irritated at the situation. This damn fog, it is so annoying. Too bad Wan like Sheng Fong is not around, otherwise my clan's divine wind will blow this fog away. Wan clan's Gu Master exclaimed. If my clan's old clan leader is here, why would we fear these dogs? Tai clan's four old timers snorted. Lord Xiao Mang, we are not making any progress. The demonic faction is looking at us like a joke. What do we do? The righteous path's famous healer Tao Zai came over and asked Xiao Mang. These demonic scoundrels, Xiao Mang looked over at the demonic faction as the irritation in his heart intensified. It seems I have to make a move. He snorted as a brilliant light appeared in his eyes. All of you move back. Everyone heard this and retreated tens of steps away. At once, Xiao Mang's surroundings were vacated, emphasizing his existence. Xiao Mang stood on the spot, shutting his eyes as his mind entered his aperture, activating his purple crystal primeval essence. The ebb and flow of the primeval sea became greater. After storing energy for a moment, Xiao Mang's eyes opened. As his primeval sea has turned into a furious tsunami, large amounts of primeval essence entered three goo worms. Extreme Light Goo, My Will Goo, Bright Spear Goo, Killer Move My Glorious Spear. Xiao Mang's body shone with a piercing white light. The intensity of the light was dense, expanding like a mound. Xiao Mang's body was bathed in light, he had an impressive appearance, like a descending holy spirit. He raised a finger towards the fog. Immediately, the light around him were manipulated and shot out ferociously. All of the white sunlight shot out at the same time, forming a 1.8m long and 0.6m thick spear of light. 60% of the purple crystal essence in his aperture were used up in this one attack. The spear of light was powerful, penetrating the fog and landed on the mound at breakneck speed. Bam! A fierce explosion occurred. The intense light caused everyone's eyes to be shut tightly, as they took a step back subconsciously. Even Mo Wu Tian's eyes were squinting into a thin line. The explosion caused the ground to rumble as after the light, air current started to spread outwards. The air currents turned into a strong wind, blowing in all directions causing many people to lose their footing. Gah! Gah! 
In the hall, Thang Yuan and Feng Tian Yu, who were refining Gu, were interrupted, and both vomited a mouthful of blood. Bai Ningbing's face was pale, her ears buzzing from the aftermath of the attack. This is the strength of a rank 5 Gu master? Luckily, such a killer move did not hit me directly. If it landed here, my defensive Gu would not even last for a second. Bai Ningbing unavoidably felt great shock. The killer move of a rank 5 Gu Master, it was not something the current her could block. As the whiteness faded from her eyes, she could see that at the location where the light spear landed, thousands of dogs were vaporized. The mound had turned into a crater. Bai Ning Bing drew in a breath of cold air, with such might, just a few more hits and the dog formation would be ruined. Her confidence dropped again but Fang Yuan had instructed her beforehand what she should do in the event she was hit with such a great move. As Bai Ning being manipulated, large numbers of dogs hurried to the crater as her defenses were raised once again. Gasp! So many dogs! Xiao Meng's heart was heavy, and the righteous and demonic Gu masters gasped sharply too. When there was a fog earlier, they could not see clearly, but now that the fog was gone, everyone's vision was clear. Over 90,000 dogs, densely packed on the mound, forming an iron bucket defense. Lightning Symbol Dog, Chrysanthemum Akita Dog, Hedge Dog, Steel Armor Dog, Yin Dog, some people counted, each dog group had over 5,000 and more. So many dog kings, someone shouted. No matter how many dogs there were, they could not hide the dog kings due to their disposition. Other than the chrysanthemum Akita dogs who were unique, these dog kings were all seated, like a flame in the darkness, extremely eye-catching. These dogs and dog kings are not that much of a threat. But there are so many heavy Thai, Green Hua, Smoke Song, Light Hang and Star Hang, these five great mountain dogs. Some Gu masters with good vision turned pale. The outer defense was made up of lighting symbol dogs, chrysanthemum akita dogs, and other ordinary dogs. The inner circle of defense was made up of the five great mountain dogs. As for the entrance of the hall, the final line of defense, there were several hundred hairy men. The entire formation was tight and secure, yet not rigid, they all had mobility and flexibility. What an iron formation! Mo Wu Tian's purple eyes shone with light as he felt the situation getting more troublesome. Even more people directed their gaze to the bronze hall. The grand yet modest hall had inscriptions and intrinsic designs, giving off an ancient atmosphere. That is the bronze hall that contains the immortal treasure. As long as we get past the dogs, we will reach the grand hall. Immortal treasure, immortal treasure, I wonder what mind-blowing riches awaits us. Everyone's gaze were heated, the goal was in front of them, it made their greed overflow. Haha, <laughs> it is time. Mo Wu Qian looked around, sensing the change in the atmosphere. Greed was like fire burning in everyone's hearts. But the great dog army deterred them, everyone knew that with their own strength, they would never succeed. This was the basis for cooperation. Lord Xiao Meng, let's talk about cooperation. Mo Wu Tian's body was like a black smoke phantom, taking several steps and arriving before Xiao Meng. Xiao Meng snorted when he saw the overwhelming dog army, he thought of cooperation. But he was afraid of getting rejected by Mo Wu Tian and also worried about his own reputation if he approached the demonic faction for cooperation as a righteous rank 5 cultivator. Right now, Mo Wu Qian approached him personally, it was music to his ears. HMPH. Xiao Mang snorted, his attitude was neither cold nor hot, as he made eye contact with Mo Wu Qian. Mo Wu Qian immediately understood Xiao Mang's intentions. He was extremely disdainful towards such hypocrisy, but he said, Then in fifteen minutes, we will attack from the front and back together. Mm. Xiao Meng nodded, turning around, no longer looking at him. Mo Wu Chan sneered, walking back and telling his people, I just approached Xiao Meng and agitated him, to have a competition with him. Next, we will split into two, attacking together from two sides. We will compete to see who gets to the Bronze Hall first, whether the Righteous Faction or us Demonic Faction wins. Xiao Meng announced at the other side, 
Daimonic scoundrels are greedy and unscrupulous, finding me to cooperate, obviously I rejected them. How can I work with these scum? Fifteen minutes later, they will attack. We will take the chance and attack as they endure some of the pressure for us. Ha ha ha. Young Master Wu Chan rules, defeat these righteous hypocrites. Demonic Gu Masters were riled up as they shouted. Lord Zio Mang is wise, let those demonic scoundrels attract the enemy for us. The righteous Gu Masters were spirited. Kill! Fifteen minutes later, the attack began. Righteous and demonic were far away, attacking from two directions. Binding Bing was hidden at some place, relying on her shared vision with the land spirit, using its divine consciousness to scan the battlefield. Tens of thousands of dogs barked and bared their paws as they charged ahead. At once, blood flowed and broken limbs flew. All sorts of goo worms competed, like the dance of fire and ice, lightning exploded and soil was overturned, green vines grew endlessly. Kill! Yi Chong charged ahead, brave and fearless. His body was covered in blue fish scales, the wind blew his fiery red hair into the air. All around him, there was a light blue spiral wave, together with the black fins that grew on his back, he seemed to have become a fearsome shark in the sea. None of the dogs could block him. Immortal treasure, if I can get it and succeed in my mission, I would definitely be able to change my surname to Shang when I return to the clan. Yi Huo's gaze was determined as he turned into the god of fire, attacking even more fiercely than Yi Chong. Everywhere he went, there was blazing flames and crying dogs. Kong Rai Tian laughed heartily, turning into a rain of petals. Lai Zian laughed coldly, while people were not noticing, he used his rank 5 goo and concealed his body, secretly moving ahead. Let's work together, with me healing there is no worry. Tao Zai shouted as many Gu masters gathered over. People were moving, and in this great battle, Yan Jun moved slowly and steadily like a casual traveler. A strong and brave dog king pounced at him, Yan Hun's expression was unchanging as he turned into a hollow shadow. The dog king jumped over and went straight through the shadow. The shadow flickered, turning back into Yan Jun's flesh body. The dog king behind him had engaged the goo masters behind already. The goo masters displayed all their abilities, battling with the dog group. The scene was as chaotic as it could be, and Bai Ning Bing could barely cope facing such a huge number of opponents starting to fluster. Chapter 394 Success at Long Last Kill Charge Damn, why are there so many dogs? Murderous yells, shouts, miserable howls, swearing and dog howls combined to form into a huge clamor that seemed to shake the world. The battle had not even begun for five minutes, blood had formed into a river and there were corpses everywhere. Binding Bing hid at some secret place and used all her strength to mobile the dog groups. With the help of the land spirit, she was able to gradually stabilize the situation. Lightning Symbol Dog, Chrysanthemum Akita Dog and other common dog beasts suffered the most casualties. Goo Masters had charged halfway through the dog beasts and ran into the formation of the five great mountain dogs, having great casualties. Heavy Tai, Green Hua, Smoke Song, Light Hang and Star Hang. These five great dogs were very powerful and their circular formation was very reliable. They were like a huge dam that blocked these goo masters that were charging like a tide. At this stage, both righteous and demonic factions suffered heavy casualties. Big brother, hold on, Meng Tu grabbed Jiao Huang's arm. Jiao Huang had suffered heavy injuries from where blood flowed out without stopping. Jiao Huang borrowed Meng Tu's strength to barely move along with the majority. Right now, they could not retreat. They could not even stop to rest, if they left the troops, the dog beasts would submerge their tiny bodies. Brother, we have made a huge loss this time. We accepted Shang Clan's assignment to get Fang Zhang's head. To think we would encounter an immortal treasure, Sai, we gave in to our desire for material benefits and thus fell into such desperate straits. Jiao Huang heaved a sigh. These two were rank 3 peak stage Gu Masters, famous assassin group of Demonic Path. 
They had even succeeded in assassinating rank 4 Gu Master Zio Fulu. They thought of joining Shang Clan and thus were prepared to secretly handle Fang Yuan. But the whole way, they did not find any good opportunity. After charging into the Blessed Land, they encountered an immortal treasure and followed with the majority. The result, they sent themselves into danger. In this chaotic battle, only rank 5 experts could move unhindered. Rank 4 peak stage could fight valiantly. Rank 4 upper stage had to move with the crowd. Those rank 1 and 2 Gu Masters made up the most of the casualties. Rank 3 Gu Masters also had to rely on luck to survive. But even so, Gu Masters still charged forward endlessly. The illusionary immortal treasure ignited their most crazed fanatical desires. They were charging recklessly, all delusional about obtaining the immortal treasure and attaining success in life, becoming an expert. Only for a certain group of people, at the time of their deaths, they calmed down and regretted endlessly. Unfortunately, it was too late. These people have gone mad, forgetting their own life or death at the enticement of the immortal treasure. Tai Ruo Nan slowed down her footsteps, she was shocked by the state of the battlefield. Tai Clan's four old-timers were surrounding her in a protective formation. The way I see it, this probably has to do with that Mo Wu Qian. The head of the Tai Clan's four old-timers suddenly said in a soft voice, You are saying Tai Ruo Nan's gaze flashed. Far away, Mo Wu Qian was moving forward in the lead, laughing crazily with his purple deep eyes flashing with dazzling light. He was a soul path Gu master and had secretly used his Gu to make everyone more fanatical. Demonic path members should all be put to death. Tai Ruo Nan snorted, the killing intent in her heart surging up. Young master, Mo Wu Tian is a rank 5 expert, he is not someone we will be able to fight easily. We need to deal with urgent matters first, our objective is not him. One of the Tai clan's four old timers persuaded. Tai Ruo Nan pursed her lips and heavily nodded her head, her gaze firm as iron. Right, the most important matter right now is still little beast King Fang Zheng. Ha ha ha, I hadn't thought the enslavement path Gu Master in the dark would only amount to this. Mo Wu Tian laughed wildly. The fierce wind blowing in the battlefield blew his black hair and his demonic flames danced rampantly. The united charge of righteous and demonic Gu Masters was going on much better than he expected. Bai Ningbing was after all a newbie earlier, she had Fang Yuan's formations and instructions to follow. But the current situation had become more complex with a lot more new changes, it was a lot more than she could take, and this in turn were flaws that were clear to Gu Masters at the level of Mo Wu Tian. Mo Wu Tian's eyes flashed repeatedly with eerie light, at the same time as charging forward, he was doing multiple tasks. He constantly controlled his Gu to attack the dog beasts and also to influence people's minds and create a fanatical atmosphere. At the same time, he was also using his Gu to scout the battlefield. Enslavement path Gu Masters always had powerful offense and could battle many opponents with just the strength of one person. But everything in this world was balanced. Enslavement path had a clear disadvantage besides the huge consumption of resources they needed, their individual strength was weak and were easy to kill. Mo Wu Qian was searching for Bai Ning Bing's position. As long as he killed Bai Ning Bing, the dog beast formation would fall apart and a large majority of them would even scatter without a fight. Found you! Mo Wu Tian's gaze suddenly concentrated as he discovered the hiding place of Bai Ning Bing. Pehe, <laughs> give me your life! He laughed and flung his sleeve, his figure turning into a ball of purple demonic fog. The demonic fog moved through the battlefield at an astonishing speed and in just a few breaths time was only a thousand steps away from Bai Ning Bing. Not good! Bai Ning Bing discovered the charging fog and her heart sank. Mo Wu Tian was a rank 5 Gu Master while Bai Ning Bing was only at rank 4. By just this she would be hard pressed to fight him, let alone now when she was doing multiple tasks and controlling the dog beasts. Fortunately, I also have my trump cards. Bai Ningbing was startled but not panicked as she willed. Go bite him, Ba Huang. 
A heel-sized enormous dog emperor heard the command and with one leap flew over a hundred feet and smashed into Mo Wu Tian. Woof! Ba Huang barked loudly, its bark was like a bolt from the blue, suppressing the whole battlefield and turning it silent. Following the bark, the dog beasts flared up with high morale. The casualties among the goo masters became more intense. Dog Emperor, its physique was majestic with its whole body covered with yellow sleek fur. It had a head like that of a lion with thick mane around its neck that was dazzling like a sun. This was an emperor among the beasts and was not something that could be looked down upon. Once it used the wild goo on it, it could contend against rank 5 goo masters. Damn it. Mo Wu Tian cursed when he was stopped by Ba Huang. Bai Ning Bing let out a breath of relief, but right at this time, a dazzling silver light shot through the battlefield and appeared in front of her instantly. <laughs> Demonic Path Jr., take a good look at me. The silver light turned into a human figure, rank 5 Righteous Path Expert Zio Meng. Ying Ming, Bai Ning Bing withstood the pressure and commanded in her mind, sending out the second dog emperor. This second dog emperor was the size of a normal dog beast. There were gorgeous patterns on its snowy white skin like pink cherry blossoms. Withstanding Xiao Mang's intense pressure, the wild goo on the dog emperor activated and created clouds below Ying Ming's feet, allowing it to fly. Just a mere wild dog. A, it is actually a dog emperor. Xiao Mang scoffed, but after few exchanges of lightning-fast attacks and defending, he withdrew his contempt and fought cautiously. Bai Ning Bing's expression was gloomy. Although the two rank 5 experts were blocked, this situation was only temporary. Humans were the spirit of all living beings. Humans' wisdom was superior to beasts. Sooner or later, Mo Wu Qian and Xiao Meng would understand the Dog Emperor's trump cards and then could make their moves with ease, even bypassing them to directly kill Bai Ning Bing. Bai Ning Bing looked around the battlefield, the other Gu Masters were still in the middle of the battlefield fighting and charging forward, they were temporarily of no threat. Bai Ning Bing let out a breath of relief and turned her gaze towards the Bronze Hall. There is not much time, her blue eyes narrowed, letting out a clear and cold radiance. Inside the bronze hall, Fang Yuan took large mouthfuls of air, gasping heavily. Meanwhile, Feng Tianyu was already lying on the ground unconscious. Blood flowed out of Fang Yuan's seven orifices, but he did not care. A pair of bright eyes stared at front. A goo was letting out brilliant light as it floated it in the air. It did not have a concrete shape. Occasionally, it was like a colorful cloud, and occasionally, it was like a whirlpool of light. Success! Fang Yuan was filled with joy, he had already succeeded in refining divine travel goo. Now only one step remained, and he could obtain second aperture goo. You succeeded, you really succeeded. The land spirit appeared beside Fang Yuan. It was extremely weak, but its eyes glowed with light, full of happiness at the success. You are worthy of being a future Gu immortal. You could really refine divine travel Gu amazing. It was indeed a correct choice to entrust this task to you. Now, the most difficult step has passed. It is smooth sailing ahead. Next, you need to use third watch Gu, and it will be a success without the least bit of difficulty. The land spirit heaved a long sigh, its sigh full of emotions. Thousands of years of effort has finally succeeded today. The recipe indeed works, I am truly happy. But such a pity that I can't see the second aperture goo in the end. After it finished speaking, the land spirit Ba Gui's body gradually turned fainter and fainter till it completely disappeared. It was dead. The immortal essence in the bronze cauldron was almost finished with only a thin trace remaining. The blessed land had already collapsed for the most part and was at the brink of extinction. The aged Bagui had been helping Fang Yuan in refining Gu and also helping Bai Ning Bing to guard, it finally could not endure such pressure and completely withered away. But compared to previous life where it had died a death of desperation under many Gu Master's attacks, it was much more blessed during this life and could even be said to have had a proper death. Bagui's death meant the immortal essence could not be used anymore. 
However, Fang Yuan was not nervous. For the next final step, the immortal essence could be replaced with large amounts of primeval stones. Even if Ba Gui was alive, that trace of immortal essence in the bronze cauldron was required to support the operation of the blessed land and simply could not be used to refine Gu. The difficulty of this immortal Gu refinement exceeds spring autumn cicada. Just now, that huge shock to the main hall almost caused all the efforts to be a waste, and in case the goo refinement had failed with just my mortal body, I will definitely die from the backlash without even having time to activate Spring Autumn Cicada. Moreover, this most crucial step had an extreme demand on mind, and a mortal simply cannot endure it. Fortunately, I chose to enslave Feng Qian Yu just to be safe, otherwise this step could never have been completed. In his previous life, Fang Yuan was already a Gu Immortal when he refined Spring Autumn Cicada. Now this time, he was refining Immortal Gu with the qualifications of a mortal, and he should not have had any chance of success. However, first, the mysterious Gu Immortal had racked his brain and used up all his life to research and perfect this recipe. Second, the recipe used the immortal Gu Divine Travel, which greatly reduced the absurd difficulty. And finally, it was not done by Fang Yuan alone, he had the help of Land Spirit and also Refinement Path Grandmaster Feng Tianyu. All these helped Fang Yuan to complete the most difficult and dangerous step. Next I have to use Third Watch Gu, this is much more simple. Right, I wonder how the situation outside is? Fang Yuan calmed his mind and then started hearing the shouts and commotion outside the main hall. Fang Yuan, be careful. Someone broke through the dog formation, a rank 4 Gu Master is coming towards you. Right at this time, Bai Ning Bing's warning arrived. Hmm. Fang Yuan's expression was heavy as he slowly stood up. Chapter 395, Bai Ning Bing Currently, the land spirit was dead and Fang Yuan was unable to see the scene outside the hall. However, with his previous life memories, he could guess one or two things without looking at the situation. There are only two rank 5 experts in the blessed land, Xiao Mang and Mo Wu Qian, they will be held back by the two dog emperors for some time. There are a lot of rank 4 Gu masters, but at this time, there is only one who can charge to this place. That is the young clan leader of Yan clan, Yan Jun. He obtained the ancient phantom path inheritance and is specialized in hiding and attacking. It should not be a problem for him to charge through the dog beast formation. Fang Yuan pondered, it was the truth as well. Phantom path had once flourished in the ancient times. Its concept was to be footloose and carefree, invincibility through dodging. As long as one could evade every attack, that was a form of invincibility. In Fang Yuan's previous life, Phantom Path Yan Jun had shown great brilliance at the Battle of Yitian Mountain, challenging the demonic path Gu Masters and causing them to suffer severe losses. That was until Mo Wu Qian showed up and beat him into retreating. This blessed land doesn't have strong defense. The central area is so important, but there is only a bronze hall built there, although it can be used to store things, its defense is really thin, the whole thing is impressive looking but useless. If it was like the Hu Immortal Blessed Land with Dang Hun Mountain as defense, it would simply be like a heavenly moat and even Gu Immortals would have a headache facing it. Even my own blessed land that had the structure of a blood sea was much better than this hall. Fang Yuan inwardly felt resentment. He walked over to Feng Tian Yu and kicked him awake. Get up, Fang Yuan said in a cold voice. Feng Tian Yu had worked hard and made great contributions. If it were not for him bearing most of the pressure, Fang Yuan might not have succeeded in refining to this stage. Ugh, mass and master, he woke up with bloodshot eyes. His hair was scraggy like weed and his face was pale white. His body was swaying as he greeted Fang Yuan. Go out of the main hall and block the rank 4 Phantom Path Gu Master, even if you have to sacrifice your life. Fang Yuan ruthlessly commanded. Yes, subordinate will do his best. Feng Tian Yu bit his lips and walked out. His primeval essence was almost completely consumed and he did not have enough fighting strength left. 
Moreover, as a refinement path grandmaster, he was not specialized in intense battle. It was almost guaranteed that he would not return alive from this mission. However, the current Fang Yuan still needed to continue with the final step, he did not have any other force remaining, thus he could only send Feng Qianyu. Second Aperture Gu is the top priority, sacrificing a refinement path grandmaster for it is nothing much. Fang Yuan sat down in a cross-legged position and looked at the continuously changing gorgeous light in the air. At this step, second aperture Gu was already mostly completely and was interchanging between real and surreal, form and formless. It was unable to be moved and also could only exist for six hours. After six hours, if the refinement has still not been carried out, the light would disappear and all the previous effort would be wasted. There is no turning back now, as long as I finish this final step, I will obtain second aperture Gu. It is just that. Fang Yuan subconsciously stroked his abdomen with a grave expression. In the blessed land, time flew three times faster than the outside world. Spring-autumn cicada was recovering extremely fast and bringing great pressure to the aperture. Even though Fang Yuan's aperture was rank 4 upper stage, it could not endure this pressure, and there were indications of tiny cracks on the aperture surface. Next, he would have to still use two-third watch goo, and with the effects overlaid, the time flow would be nine times faster. At that time, could his aperture endure the pressure? Fang Yuan was not someone who would recklessly take risks and had already meticulously planned before beginning the goo refinement. He had a huge chance of winning this gamble. As long as he got the second aperture and promptly left the blessed land, he would be able to have few months of respite. He naturally had some backup plans at that time. Third watch Gu Go. He calmed down his mind and gathered his concentration to begin the final step. Under the effect of third watch Gu, that light ball immediately started changing rapidly, the light rays were dazzling, and gave off a mysterious aura that was hard to describe in words. Divine travel Gu broadens the space and third watch Gu condenses the time. This is the using the laws of both space and time, this truly is the way of Gu passed down from the immemorial era. Genuine knowledge comes from practice, and Fang Yuan gained some comprehension from this. Time flew, the first third watch Gu's effect was nearing its end. The light ball faintly solidified, giving off the shape of the final product. The shouts from outside the main hall became louder. But whether it were Mo Wu Tian, Xiao Mang, or Yan Jun, and so on, no one had yet to charge inside. Good, next it is the second third watch Gu. Looking at the refinement finally about to succeed, even Fang Yuan started feeling excited. However, right at this time, Bai Ning Bing's voice came, Fang Yuan be careful. Tai Ruo Nan has broken the defense line and is coming towards you. Fang Yuan's expression changed. At this moment, his whole attention was concentrated on the refinement, and he could not pull out from it, how could he face the enemy? With Feng Tian Yu already being sent out, he did not have any defensive force. What to do? Bai Ning Bing, what the hell are you doing? Are you still not going to come to guard me? I can't move now if I die. You will also die under the powers of Poison Vao Gu. Fang Yuan transmitted his furious voice. He was extremely helpless and could only call Bai Ning Bing over. Without Bai Ning Bing to take control, the dog groups outside would definitely be a group of leaderless army, and there would be huge chaos. And soon, the group of heroes could kill their way through. However, Fang Yuan could not care about it. Right now, he was like a fish on the chopping board. Anyone could slaughter him with him, not having even a bit of retaliation power. If someone did not protect him, he would be easily killed by Tai Ruo Nan. Fortunately, the Gu refinement was already at its final stage, and now only the second third watch Gu had to be used. Fang Yuan only hoped for more time. As long as he made every second count and finished the refinement, with the many rank 4 and rank 5 movement Gu on him, he could break out of the siege and escape alive. As for Bai Ningbing? Hee hee, she is suitable to block the incoming enemies, her use would be maximized. 
As for what her ending would be, it was not something Fang Yuan could consider at the moment. Bam. The hall's great door was pushed open violently. Tai Ruo Nan walked inside and saw the scene in the hall. She was first dazed before immediately reacting with both shock and happiness. Little Beast King, today is the day I shall take your head. She went in for the kill before she even finished speaking. With a wave of her hand, countless golden needles flew out. Bai Ning Bing! The concentrated aura of death came pouncing on him and Fang Yuan could not help shouting again. Whoosh! Cold wind blew and ice started spreading, forming into an ice wall that blocked all the golden needles. Next moment, Bai Ning Bing also appeared at the entrance of the main hall. However, her state was clearly not good, she was covered in blood and injuries filled her body. The most severe injury was on her back, a cut that spread from her shoulder to her sacrum. It was so deep that even her bones could be seen. There were bits of green leaves sticking on her clothes, her silver hair was scorched, and her whole left arm was purple. She was clearly poisoned. Quick, block her! Fang Yuan shouted. I only need a little time. You still have the leisure to say such nonsense, just make the most of this time to refine the goo. Bai Ning Bing gritted her teeth and cursed before starting to fight Tai Ruo Nan. Tai Ruo Nan laughed coldly. Her golden needles flew like lightning with extremely terrifying offensive power. Bai Ning Bing clenched her teeth, she had suffered heavy injuries and did not even have 10% of her original strength. She soon fell into disadvantage. Several moves later, Bai Ning Bing's injuries intensified, her ankle sprained and her body wavered, Tai Ruo Nan keenly grabbed this chance to move in for a fierce attack. Bai Ning Bing was again inflicted with heavy injuries and fell down to the ground. I shall kill you first. An imprint that was on Tai Ruo Nan's forehead flashed and turned into solid, forming a golden flying dagger that shot out fiercely. Whoosh! The golden flying dagger cut through the air towards Bai Ning Bing's neck, but it missed by just a hairline gap and pierced into the bronze tile. Bai Ning Bing rolled quickly and evaded the fatal attack, shouting, How long do you still need? Fang Yuan's heart was thumping loudly as he gritted his teeth and shouted, Just a little bit, hold on even if you die. If I die, you won't be able to live either. Bai Ning Bing cursed, but was interrupted by Tai Ruo Nan's attack. Tai Ruo Nan's offense came in wave after wave. Bai Ning Bing was sent into retreat bit by bit and could only make dodging his priority, struggling in between the thin line of life and death. Several more moves later, Bai Ning Bing gasped roughly. I can't continue. Fang Yuan, I am going to self-destruct. Your aptitude has already returned to a hundred percent. Fang Yuan was startled. What do you think? Bai Ning Bing cursed. Fang Yuan narrowed his eyes. Bai Ning Bing changing back into Northern Dark Soul Ice Physique was a definite thing. But he had not expected it to be this quick. According to his calculation, despite the time flowing three times faster in the Blessed Land, it should have only have been after several more months. Fang Yuan was in a critical juncture of the refinement process and was unable to distract his mind to consider too much. The self-destruction of a ten extreme physique possessed extreme might and even rank five Gu Masters would have to take evasive actions. Once Bai Ning Bing self-destructed, there would be an extreme change in the whole battle situation. Try to hold on, unless you can't control it anymore, don't, Fang Yuan shouted. He was refining the goo with his back facing the entrance and could not see the concrete situation of the fight between Tai Ruo Nan and Bai Ning Bing. The response he received, however, was Bai Ning Bing's deep sigh. It's too late. The next moment, Fang Yuan felt the cold aura spread everywhere in the main hall and the temperature decreased rapidly. Crack. There were continuous sounds of ice forming. What goo is this? Tai Ruo Nan's cry of surprise also reached Fang Yuan's ears. Fang Yuan turned his head with difficulty to look and saw the main hall already becoming a world of ice and snow. Bai Ning Bing was floating high up in the air, her whole body turning into ice crystal, similar to the situation when she had self-destructed back at King Mao Mountain. 
the cold wind blustered and glaciers rose, crushing towards Tai Ruo Nan with vast and majestic force. Tai Ruo Nan had a fierce expression as she quickly retreated towards outside. However, the door of the main hall was already condensed into ice, she was like a turtle trapped in a jar and was surrounded by the icy layers. Is this the legendary Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique? Tai Ruo Nan cried out in surprise. But it was already too late, she was sealed within the ice like an insect in an amber. The ice, however, did not stop spreading and was spreading towards Fang Yuan. Binding Bing! Binding Bing! Fang Yuan worriedly shouted, but there was no response from Binding Bing. Her body had almost become one with ice and her whole face had started turning indistinct. Her crystal-like eyes no longer shone and had thoroughly dimmed. Damn it! Fang Yuan's brain was hurting from the anxiety. The ice had already reached his body. He could only use Yang Gu. Yang Gu flew out and landed on Binding Bing's body. Immediately Yang Aura and the icy coldness formed into a whirlpool of primeval essence. The scene back at King Mao Mountain many years ago appeared once again. Ice stopped spreading, but this distraction almost caused the Gu refinement to fail. Fang Yuan's heart thumped loudly in shock, and he immediately concentrated all his attention without being concerned about the situation behind him. Under his efforts and control, the light clouds finally condensed into second aperture goo. Immortal goo, I finally succeeded. Right now, Fang Yuan's heart was exploding with joy. All his efforts and all the risks he took had created a very satisfactory outcome. Pew! Right at this time, a sharp ice blade pierced through Fang Yuan's heart, piercing from behind him and coming out of his chest. Fang Yuan's pupils shrunk to needle size, and he looked behind with difficulty. Binding Bing, you. Fang Yuan, to think there would be a day where you fall into a trap. Tai Ruo Nan slowly walked over, her gaze filled with hatred.